hi welcome to my youtube channel i would love for you to subscribe and follow me along with my adventures <laughs> uh, today i'm sharing a timu haul that i purchased uh probably put the order in about a week ago and it came today and i wanted to share what i purchased first of all I got embossing folders. This one was a dollar seventy nine. This one was two dollars and forty eight cents. I like how it has the writing on the back. And I'll do, probably do another video showing what I do with my purchases. Um, there was these paper clips for $2.19 that actually hold a pen. So you clip it on your journal and put your pen in there and it holds it on the outside. Of course you would have a lid on your pen, <laughs> unlike me right now. Anyhow, so there was a pack of those for $2.19. And I will list all the items below with the prices too. Let's see how many we got in there. We got six of them. Okay. And this is a die. And it was a dollar twenty-nine. And it looks like florals and leaves. Here is a Christmas tree that was a dollar eighteen. It's a die cut also. This is a die cut that was a dollar seventy nine, and I believe when I saw it on the site, uh, you use the die cut and then you could put ribbon through the middle. I thought it would be really pretty. So, like I said, I'll try to do another video on what I use everything for with, and you could see how it turns out. This was eighty nine cents. And it's a die with circles. If I can get it open. <laughs> Little swirly circles. I thought that would be pretty. What I should have done is got out my die cut machine today and showed you as I'm opening what they look like. Next time I'll think of that. Uh, these are snowflake dies for $2.19. These are frames that look like they're torn and like messy cut. So I think that would be really neat in a junk journal with layers. And that one's $2.19. Here is some music notes paper clips and I thought they were pretty. They're rose gold. They're beautiful. And they were two dollars and nineteen cents. Here's another embossing folder with a Christmas tree on it for a dollar twenty nine. Okay. Most of my items were purchased for me to do junk journaling with, except for this one item that I just thought was super cute. Even to like do, uh, share my junk journal and wear them. I thought they were fun. So they're gloves that have uh, roses on them and little bumblebees, super fun. Okay, here's a pack of different vintage paper for $2.49. Well, vintage looking papers. So let's just see. I haven't even opened them myself. Ooh. Okay. Is 
they look like you can make pockets with them and pretty paper amazing I'm, i might take my gloves off are they distracting <laughs> So different sized paper. That would be great in a junk journal. And these are stickers. What a nice little kit. Floral stickers and floral tags. Yeah, these are stickers. So a fun little kit for $2.49. Not bad, I'm liking Tamu. So I guess that one's called Dreaming and Flowers, $2.49. And this is another kit that was $2.49, Romantic Encounter. Look at, I love the vintage detail in these. Even this could be used inside of a junk journal. Okay, so these are stickers. Oh my gosh, how cute are these? Tag stickers. Oh, and this looks like off, off of um, a vintage pattern, those women. Oh, how fun. I'm liking this kit. So, like I said, this is my first first purchase from Tamu. And I'm loving it. Oh my gosh. All this stuff. McCall's pattern will be great in, in my junk journals. How fun. Wow. I want to say this said it had 30 pieces in it. And again, I'll list um, the prices below and the items. Look at these little girls. They are adorable. Okay, so now my cat is clawing at me and meowing, wanting my attention. Hasn't given me any attention all day, but now she knows I'm videoing and she's wanting attention. This is the same type of kit, again, for $2.49. And let's take a look. Full of papers and stickers. So these are strips of stickers. I guess you could use it as washi tape too. More stickers. Oh, I just love the vintage look of it, of it all. How fun. Now I've ordered from Sheen before and you're not sure sometimes what you're getting. And I'm liking that I got to choose what I wanted from Tamu. And so this, you just cut it out and you make a great looking pocket. I love that. Fun stuff. Okay, I'll put it back together later so you're not watching each little thing. These were stickers that were floral stickers for $1.79. And let's see if I can get them open. Oh, 
How pretty are these? Oh, I like this one. Looks like a peony. Hibiscus flower. Wow, pretty. Just a bunch of pretty flowers that could be used in my junk journaling. Very good. All right, I'm gonna slide that aside. And let's see what else. These were stamp stickers for $2.48. You can pause this and grab a cup of coffee or tea because <laughs> there's many more items to go through. But I'll try to go pretty fast. So these are stickers that look like stamps. They're bigger than stamps. Uh, let's see what the average is. About uh, two and a half by two. Pretty. Oh, I like that one. That one could look really pretty in an Easter um, junk journal. Pretty. I'm not going to show you every one, but just to give you an idea of what we have. We'll turn them the right side. That might help too. Pretty. Oh, I, I love this rose one. Yes, yeah, so all these are floral ones. Right up my alley. Great. And I've seen people put them on material too, these stamp stickers, and they look great on material also. Beautiful. Okay. I think there is another one. Stamp stickers also, the same size of those for $2.48. My guess is about 30 are in here. That's a guess. But I, but I even like the packaging. Even this packaging, you can make a tag or use her in a special way. Look at how pretty that is. And this was the packaging of the other one. That's just beautiful. I can turn it into a tag and put some paper on the back, back it. So, ooh, these look like vintage ladies. Beautiful. I like these just with a touch of pinks in them. Look how pretty she is. Wow, beautiful. We'll go through these pretty quickly. So uh, it looks like there's two of each stamp. I like to share with my cousin and a fr friends for junk journaling. So yeah. I have to share some of these. They're just gorgeous. She's looking in the mirror, kissing the mirror. That's funny. Oh, I like that one. It looks like she's sitting and journaling. That one's sweet. They're all just very pretty. I'm really happy with my purchase so far. Because sometimes you just don't know what you're getting. And this is my first purchase with Tamu. Okay, let's see, on to the next. Now this was $4.89. And it comes in an envelope. And I don't remember what's all, what was all in this, even though it was just a week ago. <laughs> I think I placed the order on the app on my phone. So you're looking at small pictures. But I'll reuse this envelope too. It's a vellum envelope that you could use 
and your junk journal. I save everything. And I'm sure if you're a junk journal or a crafter, you do also. So we have some items that look like vintage postcards. Writing. Oh, that's pretty neat. <gasps> it looks like old photographs and a chest. How neat is that? I love that. I guess there's little random stickers in here too that I'm seeing. These would be great for collaging also. I love the glasses sitting there as if you're writing a letter. Very neat. I just love the vintage photographs that they're showing on these. And little postcard looking things, little tags. Oh, these papers are great for collaging. Definitely. Look at that. That's neat. They're a little thin, the paper. And so if I'd want to use some of these as a pocket, I would probably back them with cardstock. Oh, look at That's cool. Vintage tag. Paper. Awesome. So it's like, it looks like an old receipt from a liquor shop. Very neat stuff. Perfect for collaging. And these are tags and they're a little bit thicker. They're on cardstock which is nice. Very neat. And this looks like a package of stickers in here also. try to go through them fast. I hope you can see what I'm doing. This is a book. Glasses. Like Harry Potter glasses almost. These are cool. Stickers. <laughs> Vintage alarm clock. Letters. That's neat. I probably should just flip them all over. That would make more sense. Again, this is just great for collaging. Looks like a mini letter with an envelope. Wow. I like this, a garden is a friend that you can visit anytime. How true is that? Except I gotta have a green thumb. My husband has the green thumb. Looks like postage, airmail to London. These stickers are amazing. Look at that, it's an envelope with something sticking out of it. I love that. Typewriter, vintage typewriter, vintage camera. Oh, these are these are really cool. I am really happy. Nice. Okay. Let's push these aside and see what else we got. <laughs> 
think I got carried away. But completely happy with what I got carried away with. What did that say a price? Okay, this one was $309. And oh wow, look at how neat that is. Postcard that looks like it got wet. And I'm just gonna flip through here quickly to show you what's all in there. It looks to me like there's two of each page. <laughs> I like how this has red writing on it too. And Now this is thin paper, but it has like a really neat texture to it. And it can be backed with the cardstock if you want it to be thicker. Postcard. Nice. Just full of vintage, awesome stuff. Okay. There's that one. All right. Another one. What's this? It was $219. Okay, it's full of paper and stickers. Ooh, pretty. So it's a mix of things. Stickers. And they're floral stickers. And then little frames. I love the little frames. Look how cool those are. Those are fun. Oh, so that butterfly I thought was a sticker. One was a sticker and one's actually on the paper. Ooh, how pretty is that? Go nicely in a shabby chic or Rose Journal, pretty. Valentine's Journal, that's pretty from the Grand Motel. Chateau, that was fun. Several different things in there. Okay, I'm not gonna have you guys watch me put everything back. And to be honest, I don't always put things back in their package for sure. This one was $2.19, and I think it's going to be similar to that other one, but a different theme, if I remember. I'm all thumbs today. And of course I broke my thumb now too. Doesn't help matters. <laughs> okay. So similar to the last one, but we have a different theme. We have frames that are pretty and pretty stickers, butterflies, writing, Floral. Oh, that's pretty when you put it on the background. You could see what it looks like more. See that? Pretty. Ooh, I like that rose. Of course I do. More butterflies. Writing. Please come back. Let's see, do the flower. Oh, that's pretty. I'm going to try these on material and see what they look like. Very pretty. 
There we go. You could see it with that background. Okay. And so then the paper in here, we'll look at that next. Ooh, pretty. Mercy. Oh, I like that. Oh, this is gorgeous paper. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay. I like this pack a whole heck of a lot. Let's see what else. Because I couldn't stop myself, evidently. <laughs> 219 again. Similar package, but I think a different theme. This one looks like a lot of flowers. Ooh, la la. Oh, again, great for Valentine's Day. Look at those roses. Tulips, butterflies. This one was a fun one. Frames. Look at that. That's beautiful. Oh, I, did I say I'm happy with these? No wonder I got one of each of the packets because they're all super cute and different. I love this would be great to do a sewing journal. I love that. Okay, let's see. Let's go on to the next one. Oops, hey Daisy. We have piles here. <laughs> this, I think, is stick, uh, sticker note paper, I believe. And it was a dollar seventy nine. Let's see if I'm remembering this right. When I went to look back at their website, all the stuff was already sold. I couldn't believe it. Um, I'm not sure if it's a sticker, but oh my gosh, look at that. It has raised edges and it's on vellum. This is beautiful paper. Wow. beautiful and they're all different hopefully I have this in the camera <laughs> trying to stand on my tippy toes so I could see if you could see this funny these look like they're maybe five by five I don't think six by six let's measure them just to, so you'll know yeah, five by five. Sometimes I guess, right? Okay. This I think might have been one of my most expensive items. Six dollars and sixty-nine cents. We're gonna see what's in here. Ephemera book. Vintage sticker paper. Oh my. Oh, look at it. Perfect. This is mine. Wow. Oh, this is just full of wonderful stuff. I like that. It's got an L. My real name's Luann. Friends call me Lou. <laughs> Look at this. Just full of beautiful vintage stickers. Okay. This might have been, might be the best thing so far. Please tell me you could see it. I have quite a few journals I need to finish up and 
this is just loaded with fun and great things I could use in it. Oh my gosh. I love that vintage bunny. Did you see how I skipped around? Oh, wow. This was well worth it. The roses, just everything in here. Let's see. Uh, they are stickers. I just want to make sure and to show you. Yes. Beautiful. Did I tell you I love that bunny? <laughs> okay. And so is this whole page? I can't tell if it's a sticker or paper. I think this is paper in the back. Oh my gosh. So the front of the book has stickers and the back has scrapbook paper. That is amazing. Wow. Look at the bird. How fun. This is great for journaling for collaging, for making cards, you name it. Oh, amazing. Ooh, this might be my favorite page right here because I'm all about the pink and the roses. And look at that. So this was called Ephemera Book. It had 57 sheets and sticker paper. So stickers and paper. This was well worth it. Okay, I think I got a new favorite thing. <laughs> okay, so this is five by seven paper and it was two dollars and nineteen cents. And I think it's just full of vintage looking invoices. Let's see. Yes. Okay, beautiful. And I'm going to stop this for a minute and I'll be back. Okay, we're back. My cat wanted my attention, and I've been away on a cruise for a week. And so I stopped it and gave her some attention. <laughs> okay, this is another pack, about five by seven. I'm gonna double check that. No, it's not five by seven. So that meant the others weren't five by seven before this either. Eight by... Five and a half, five and three quarters. This would make great journal pages. And what you could do is take two different ones and uh, put washi tape down the middle and they could be two different pages. Love them. Looks like a plant dictionary pages. And this is the back page and it's the packaging. And I just love that. That would make a great tag or pocket. Again, I'm about the packaging. Okay. These were $2.79. This says magic note. Not sure what that means, but we're about to find out. Let's look at the measurements for this. Four, 
four by five and a half. This might be my least favorite so far. Oh, then I say that, and then I see little teacups. But it looks dark for me. But that's pretty. Tea, tea cups on the plate. Could be a good um, Halloween uh, journal. Definitely use that for Halloween <laughs> mouse. But this is this is a little darker than I anticipated. But that might be the only thing so far that I'm just like, hmm, not sure about. And this is another book like that that was $2.79. I think it's his Modern Posters. And that's the measurements is the same. Okay, that's fun. These are fun. Okay, I like that. This one I like much better than the last one. Pretty. Let's just flip through it just to give you an idea. I know this video is long. Ooh, that one I couldn't flip by. She's pretty. Holding a fan. That's cute. Kids. He's got an ax and it looks like a Christmas tree over to the side. This one's very Victorian. That's cute. Very Victorian. Love it. Oh, I love that one for the Christmas theme. She's pretty. Okay. We had another one. <laughs> This one's called Flowered Letter, $2.79. I even like the, the belly band around this. It's vellum, floral vellum, but I can't get it off. Let's see, we don't wanna rip it, you know, cause we gotta reuse it. Look at it, it's pretty. I feel like this is gonna be a pretty one. Oh yes, this is gorgeous. I have a journal I need to finish up and I think I'll definitely be using some of these pages in there. Lovely. That's a good one. Okay. This was $3.09, and I think it's another book of papers. Vintage papers again. I hope you could see it the way I'm doing it. Those are pretty flowers. I mean, I'm pretty happy with this purchase, with this big haul. I think I'll be using all of it. Okay. 
This is one of my favorite things, $1.48. And it just looks great when you make tags and I can't get it untied, but anyhow, it's like, it looks like rope and it's got leaves through it and it's just beautiful for tags or to wrap around your journals. Okay. This was $2.69 for washi tape. That's a little more than I would pay for washi tape, but I remember it being gorgeous. Okay, let's see, I don't, of course I don't have scissors here. We're gonna try to get it open for you to see it. Why wouldn't I brought scissors? There we go. Anyhow, Vintage flowers and all kinds of good stuff. And I will put the link below so you can look it up on their site also. I'm not going to open that right now. This was Sparkly Tool for $1.29. And I got it in three colors. has sequins on it and I'll open one just so you can get an idea. And that's what it looks like. That would look great at the bottom of a tag or put on a page in a journal and then you lift up the sheer. So I got it in this color, the pink, and then a creamy color. We're almost done. This is a vintage material paper, floral, $2.69. And we'll give this a measure, I wanna say yeah, oh, five and a half by five and a half. Ooh, lots of pinks right up my alley. I know why I got this one. Very pretty. I'll use a lot of this. So there was 50 pages in there, and I think one, two, three, four, five sheets of each print. That's nice. That could be used for decoupage. And last but not least, I've been wanting to learn embroidery. And so I thought this kit was $4.94. And I thought, well, I'm going to order that and give it a try. And we'll open it and just see. I believe, I can't remember if it's ribbon embroidery, but that's what I've been wanting to do. But I'm not sure, I don't think this is the ribbon embroidery. There's the embroidery thread, and I'll show you the picture, what it looks like. That's what it looks like. And I thought, well, I'll start small. And there it is. There's my embroidery thread, and that's what I will use. Okay, well, thanks for coming to my channel, and please subscribe. And I will sh share further... Um, purchases and I will be sharing a junk journal that I'm almost finished with. So I would love for you to hit the subscribe button and come back. Have a great day. Thanks for joining me.